Right, I'm just removing the protective layer from this from this aluminium sheet. And this is the bit that covers up the transmission tunnel. One, two, and this is the fourth bit. Okay, that's one done. It goes like that. These here are held on by screws so you can get in and adjust the handbrake, which is there. And the rest are riveted on using the silicon sealer as well. Making sure that we get that grommet in there for the wiring loom. Right, this bit is the scuttle. It's the bit that holds the windscreen in here and the wiper motors and uh, the heater goes in there. Now before we do all that lot, what I'm going to do is stick it on the car. We put these bits of tape on here so when we put the silicon sealant in there and it squeezes out we protect the uh, glass from getting all smeared. Let's get it on into position and uh, get it sized up and we'll get it screwed in. Just lift this over the top and plonk it into position there. Now, we've got the uh, scuttle fitted to the car, and we've also stuck all the ancillary stuff that goes onto it. Over there, we've got the heater motor. In the middle's the airbox. And over this side, we've got the expansion tank for the radiator. And then hidden right down here is the purge valve. You know that thing that empties the carbon can at the back that we discussed? Stuck in here. At last, the thing's beginning to look like a car. We've got the windscreen on. We've got some mirrors. I think I'm going to have to stop posing in here and get some work done. I think I'll go and get the exhaust popped on. As you can see, we've stuck the exhaust on. That's all now bolted up nice and firm. We've also put the ducted radiator in the nose cone that's gone on and I'm just going to go and trial fit the bonnet see if it goes on we'll try the boot box as well while we're here that should just there we go it's all neat, tidy. Jobs are good, I think. There we are. It's got th that's got that done. I'll bolt that up later. Let's just have a quick recap on what we've done on Module 5. We stuck the exhaust on, all the cooling systems in, fitted the bonnet, and lo and behold, the windscreen's on and the mirrors. There are actually a few extra things that I've got to do for Module 5, but time's pressing on. Got to stick the headlights on and uh, the front indicators have got to do, go on. But what I'll do is I'll get to set to work, I'll do those, and then next time you come and see us, we'll have all that finished nice and neat. See you next time on Build a Car Right.